Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Pop Tart Lee and this is a video that I normally try and come up with like a blurb, a waffle or something to describe it and I've kind of been thinking about this one and this is probably best described as a moment of stupidity. So, little summary, um, EMP did their 3 for 2 at the weekend. There was a few pops I wanted but I wasn't desperate for, I thought I might be able to get them cheaper and I decided I wanted to buy something because that's what we do. So I've ended it up with three pops. Two of the pops are actually pops where I'm just, I've gambled that there's a chase of this pop. Not looking to get a chase and try and make a bit of profit. Both lines are lines that I know of other people who collect, so I know that they'd be able to get the chase. And if I don't get the chase, I know I'll be able to just sell these pops on at cost and then the pop that I bought that I want this is sounding really complicated the pop I want essentially will cost me that little bit less I think that makes sense I'm going to get into the box and I hope you'll see what it is so it's obviously the EMP it was three pops um, that I bought they were 12 99 each so it came to £26 I've got the EMP backstage pass which meant I get the potions for free. Um, I know they're currently doing that at 4 95 It's well worth doing. If you order two pots from EMP in a year, it's paid for itself. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, but let's have a look and see how this goes. So like I said, there's one pop that's for me. I'm going to open that one first. And then the other two with possible chases. Which we'll see what. Loads of gump in here. £5.55 off your next order. That seems to be a generic code. And it seems to be... Um, I'm trying to think, yeah. Minimum order £45, so might be something you want to use, not for me. Uh, the Christmas sale, Ooh, I mean that's a bit late. And then there's also that one which again I won't use, which is a code for £5 off Birds of Prey merch. So if you want that by all means, help yourself. And that is a minimum spend of £25, so that's actually not that bad. To be honest with you, so if you're into that film, Knock yourself out, so let's have a look in here. We've got the three pops. I'll open this one first. This is the one that's for me, and this seems to be all I'm buying at the moment, but it's another Star Wars pop, and it's the first one I bought in the chrome. No, it's a Ren. So I've not bought many Rise of Skywalker pops at all, but I thought these ones might be cool. Get the chromes. Um, just have just a nice running chrome so these were 12 99 each i think they're 12 99 each everywhere to be fair so that is my first one of those i'll get i'll get it out of the box in a minute but let's have a look and see what the other two are so next one i'm going to go with is from birds of prey it's not a franchise i'm after but i know it's a new franchise i know people who would want this chase if it is might want to comment to be fair and I'll show you first, it is Roman Sionis and it's the common. So, and then this is Ewan McGregor's character, I've not seen the film. It's something I watch if it's on, but it's not necessarily on my radar. But, yeah, I think it looks nice enough. I think the chase, I'll try and put a picture up so you can see, but I think it's in a different suit, or maybe he's got a mask. I know very little about that. But, there you go, it's a Birds of Prey pop, there's loads of. Birds of Prey pops now, they're quite cool. I like the box, the box is very colourful. So, one down, let's have a look at this last one. This is a WWE pop. Let's have a look, let's see if we've got the chase on that one. No, <laughs> so we didn't get either chase unfortunately. So this is Diesel from the WWE range. Um, the chase of him is an NWO one. I mean, he's a cool pop, don't we? Well, I don't collect the WWE ones. I was hoping that if I got the chase, I always knew someone who definitely wanted it. But there you go. I mean, we can get these out of the box. Let's start with Diesel, actually. I'll show you them so you can see. And then, like I said, I'll look at moving these two on. It was a gamble. I mean, uh, as I was thinking about it, I was thinking, why did I do it? I know I had money in the paper, it's always dangerous. 
and that's why I did it. But there's a diesel. So he is quite cool, quite muscular in the arms actually. First time I've really seen that. He's got his black sunglasses on and he's got a ponytail, which you wouldn't have seen obviously if you only seen that in the box. He's got your beard, he's got some sunglasses. And he's got a tattoo as well. I'll show you that tattoo close up. So that's quite cool, obviously Kevin Nash. Uh, wrestled under different names as well. But that's his WWE one, his diesel. Uh, that's from 74 in the WWE range. This one, Roman Sionis. So I know a little about the character. I know people who have seen the film and enjoyed it. But I don't know. I'm not that big on Harley Quinn. I didn't mind Suicide Squad. I've watched it once, it was fine, but it's not a film I've got to seek out. Oh, this is this is interesting. This is the first time I've ever found this art. This arm feels like it's felt out of different material than any pop I've ever had before. It actually feels a little bit, a bit sticky. And imagine, similar to what Chosen and Clothes, t towels feel like, actually. But it's cool. I mean, it's got a, like a black Hawaiian shirt on. It's got gloves. Um, full white suit. He's nice enough, don't get me wrong, but it's just not one from my collection. But then... The one I did one, I'm trying to find where it is now, is, like I said, I know with the marbles and the chromes, they got carried away, and there's chromes of everything and anything, but I just thought these got really cool in chrome, and the fact that it's a set that I would have got anyway, so I may as well pay that couple of pounds extra and get the chromes. It is very cool. I mean, obviously I could waffle on about the Knights of Ren for quite a while, Obviously they weren't in The Last Jedi at all. It was almost like um, Ryan Johnson's decided, well no, I don't want them, so he didn't use them. And then they were thrown back in for a very short period in The, La the Rise of Skywalker. But the pops are cool. I wanted the pops chrome, but the blade isn't. But yeah, very cool. I'm very happy with that one. So there you go. Uh, chance of a chase and got none. I've got chases from Pop, uh, Poppy Lock, sorry, EMP before, and it's the look of the draw one in six, so it was, it was possibly never going to happen to be honest with you, but there you go. Um, this video seems to be, oh, it's quite a long video, so I shall cut it short now by saying thank you for watching. Two, two, two in the last couple of days. If you haven't, hopefully you know the draw by now. Link for that video in the description. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We get to 222 by the 22nd. The prize pot gets that little bit bigger. Um, but apart from that, until the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.